I started in the shipyard and I was only getting six and a penny a week, 32p a week in the shipyard. And if I tried to travel on a bus or a train, I hadn't much to give my mum. Uh, but uh, I decided to buy, uh, my mum and I went up to Cochrane's in Ann Street and we got a, a, bought a new bike, a BSA. So that's how it started me off with this new bike, right in the shipyard. This is where I sat 73 years ago when I joined a club. It's the very same spot here. So here I am today, still sitting in the same spot. And I can just bring back memories to me, all these seating, all these forms all around. We're all runners, we're all ready to go out for the run. But happy memories and uh, a good lot of them has passed on. Not here anymore. Yes. Uh -huh. It was very primitive then. There was no heating, no showers. Uh, there was a fire somewhere over in the centre of the building here. And uh, without training, out in the fields, out of the back here, in the dark winter nights, come in, uh, got the hot water, the buckets at an old bath, and that's where we got a, a leg washed. If you get one leg in, you were lucky. If you're late coming in, you put your leg into a couple of inches of mud. I met my wife, and uh, she came from Cumber. So she said, so how I met her was when I was cycling, and my wife worked in Cumber. For some reason, when I was cycling down, when I was coming home from work, I was meeting all these girls coming out of uh, there was a stitching, a clothes factory in Cumber, and she worked there. I got my eye on this brown-eyed, brown dark-haired girl coming out of work. And so for some reason, I got to know her, stopped on the bike, and had a bit of a chat with her. And I went from there, and I used to get in a bit of trouble when I arrived home from my dinner. My mum says, where were you? What kept you? <laughs> <laughs> you should have been home before this, you know.